I'm Chris Thomas. Here's a look at what's happening today. Governor Gavin Newsom signed four wildfire safety bills into law today to help prevent and prepare for the massive wildfires the state has gotten over the last couple of years. Some of the things included in the bills are adding a wildfire warning center to help assess the threats, as well as requiring an independent third party to oversee the clearing of vegetation around utility lines. Newsom said that this has been a top priority for him from day one. A man has been arrested on suspicion of starting fires in Butte County during a state of emergency last month. Cal Fire says the 35-year-old from Oroville was arrested thanks to an anonymous tip through the agency's arson hotline. He's being held on nearly $2 million bail. And CHP North Sacramento is looking for this truck. They believe it's connected to a deadly hit and run from Tuesday morning. An elderly couple was walking along Palm Street and Arnold Avenue when the man was run over and killed. The car fled the scene. Witnesses told CHP that he pushed his wife out of the way before being hit. Call CHP if you have anything that can help. And now let's get a check of weather with Monica. Hey, Monica. Hello. Well, a bit of a warm up for today. We're talking five to almost 15 degrees. Look at that for Truckee and South Lake Tahoe. 13 degrees warmer than we were yesterday during the afternoon. Tomorrow, though, we cool a little bit again. We still have clear skies right across the forecast area. Highs in the 60s and 70s, 60s up top for this year, and still cool overnight. 20s up top, 40s down low. But we've got a very active weather pattern across the Pacific right now. It's not going to necessarily be big direct hits like what we saw over this past weekend, but it's enough to keep that high pressure ridge a bit in check. So we're not looking at near record highs in the 100s. Kind of a roller coaster with temperatures, though, as you can see with the 10 day planner. 70s for the next couple of days. 80s as we head into the weekend and we're talking mid to upper 80s. So on Monday, some of us may be getting awfully close to 90 degrees and then we're right back into the 80s again. Dry weather for at least the next 10 days. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today.